are going to see how to calculate the total elongation for a bar. Let's read the question here. A stepped bar as shown in figure, diagram is given. This bar has 12 mm diameter for 1200 mm length. Next, it has 30 mm diameter for 2000 mm length and 22 mm diameter for 1800 mm length. It is subjected to a tensile load, which is a pull kind of load of value 20 kN. The question is to find the elongation of the bar, take capital E, Young's modulus, 1 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per mm square. So this is the question we have. Now, first of all, let us write the data for this question. The stepped bar is given. What I'll do here is that I will name this section. Diameter 12 mm, this will be section 1 for me. Diameter 30 mm, that will be section 2. And diameter 22 mm, section 3. So now I'll denote it as D1. D1 is equal to 12 mm, the diameter. Next, D2 is equal to 30 mm. D3 is equal to 22 mm. Length is also given. So L1 is 1200 mm. L2 2000 mm. L3 1800 mm. Then capital E that is Young's modulus 1 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per mm square. Now the question is to find the total elongation that is deflection for this bar and this bar is called as stepped bar because it has different diameters and different lengths. So now for this in the solution part as the diameters are given I'll calculate individual areas. I'll write down since cross-sectional area for different sections of the bar is given by the cross-sectional area for section 1 I'll denote it as A1 it is equal to pi by 4 into D1 square and D1 is 12 so therefore area 1 it comes out to be 113.1 mm square. Next, similarly I can calculate area 2 that is equal to pi by 4 into d2 square and d2 is 30. So therefore area 2 is 706.86 mm square. Next, area 3, pi by 4, d3 square, and d3 is 22. So therefore, Area 3 will be equal to 380.13 mm square. Now, after getting the values of area, the next thing is in order to find the total elongation, that is the total change in length of the bar, first I'll find out change in length in portion 1, next in portion 2, and then in portion 3. Add up all the values to get the total elongation. So I'll separate this portion first. 
So here I have the first portion. This is having a length of 1200 mm. Now I'll say that deflection in portion 1 is given by deflection 1 is equal to PL upon AE for section 1. So therefore, deflection in section 1 is equal to P, it is the value of load and P is given as 20 kN. So therefore, P is 20 into 10 raised to 3 Newton. I'll use this value. Length of the section is 1200. Area. Area would be area 1. And area 1 is 113.1. Next, Young's modulus is given as 1 into 10 raised to 5. So from this, I'll get deflection in 1. So I'm getting the deflection value as 2.12 mm. And this answer is positive. It means there is an increase in length. Next, deflection in portion second is given by PL upon AE for portion second. And here also I will separate the section. It has a diameter of 30 mm and length is 2000. Second section. Length is 2000 mm. Now I'll go on putting the values. So therefore, Deflection in portion second is equal to load is 20 kN, so 20 into 10 raised to 3. Length is 2000 mm P into L upon area. For the second section, we have already calculated area was 706.86 into Young's modulus is given as 1 into 10 raised to 5. So from this, I'm getting the answer of deflection as 0 0.565 mm. And again, as this answer is positive, so it means there is an increase in length. Next, similarly, deflection in the third portion can be written as PL upon AE Now I'll separate that third section. It is having diameter 22 and length is 1800. Now I'll go on putting the values. Therefore, deflection in portion 3 is equal to load is 20 into 10 raised to 3 Newton. Length is 1800 divided by area. For the third section, it was 380.13. Young's modulus is 1 into 10 raised to 5. So from this, I'll get the deflection in portion 3 as it is 0 0.947 mm. As this answer is also positive, so it means there is an increase in length. So after this, therefore, 
टोटल इलांगेशन डेल्टा एल इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा एल वन प्लस डेल्टा एल टू प्लस डेल्टा एल थ्री सो डेल्टा एल वन इट वॉज टू पॉइंट वन टू डेल्टा एल टू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव सिक्स फाइव डेल्टा एल थ्री पॉइंट नाइन फोर सेवन सो देर फॉर यूर आई एम गेटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ डिफ्लेक्शन आर्स थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स थ्री एम एम एज दिस आंसर इज पॉजिटिव इट मीन्स देर इज एन इंक्रीज इन लेंथ इन द बार सो यूर इन द क्वेश्चन they were telling us to calculate the total elongation of the bar that is how much is the change in shape of this bar and that change in shape we have found out it is 3.63 mm and because of that there is an increase in length by 3.63 mm because of the load of 20 kN and with this we complete the question